Welcome back to some more Umineko when they cry. So where we last left off, um, the grandkids of the sort. While it starts to rain, like, well, they were basically trying to soft the puzzle of the sword, and things went, you know, back to normal and such. So they stopped at the rose garden, and while they were trying to search for her, like, Maria is just, you know, losing her shit, and Rosa happened to be there. And the thing about it, <laughs> in the part, is just, it it's intense. Not only that, and then Rosa got really toxic to um, Maria, a aka her child. And it was like, it's hard, it's hard to tell whether to hate her as a character or like, like, or at least enjoy her because one, she's once again voiced by one of the known VAs. I, so, and I hate what, and I usually don't like using the word toxic because most of my friends usually um, use the word like ironically, even though like yet they kind of act like that in the, in the sword, but sometimes. I usually refer to like characters as like you know assholes or some sort of like basic insults yada yada, but that's yeah it's it's fucking wild like it's I can't believe it. All over a damn wilted rose in which I don't know what the fuck happened to it. Like searching for a fucking wilted rose is like fucking where's Waldo, rose, flower edition or some shit like that. Oh man, psychotic experience. Anyway, let's continue reading before I go on and rambling. Rosa was lying on the sofa in an empty parlor, having fallen asleep before she knew it. Yeah, sleep it off. She was bearing a burden that the children couldn't even imagine. That's why she only needed to let her guard down a little, before the wariness immediately dragged her into the world of sleep. Realizing this, Genji brought a blanket over to her. When he tried to spread it over her, her eyes snapped open as though she'd been shocked with electricity. Arigato. <sighs> <sighs> When she realized that the thing that had touched her was just a blanket, and that Genji had been considerately giving it to her, she let out a sigh of relief. Well, what the fuck are you getting paranoid over? That's the question here. The sigh of relief. <laughs> Well, according to the time, six PM. When he, when he was asked for the time, Genji checked the pocket watch that he took out from out of his chest pocket. Well, there you have it. Rosa gave her head a little shake when she realized that not much time had actually passed, even though it, it felt like she'd slept for ages. Even though she didn't feel rested at all, the drowsiness that had enveloped her must have been pretty deep. ありがとう。毛布は結構よ。変な時間に眠っちゃダメね。すっかり時間の感覚が狂っちゃったわ。雨とうとう降り出したのね。Rosa finally realized that the peaceful sound that had put her to sleep was actually the rain. 
風もだいぶ出てるよねいよいよ台風なのかしらそのようにテレビでは申しております遅い台風だそうで明日いっぱいはこんな調子だそうですそうこの素敵なバラ庭園も日中のあれが見納めだったのね You don't say Oh my god From the window, what she could see of the rose garden was completely blurred by the wind and the rain. Mario. <gasps> so da. Mario? Yeah, where did Maria go? I thought you locked her in, like, in her room alone or some stupid bullshit like that. Or like some whatever they call it. You're grounded or some sort. 私はお見かけしておりませんがゲストハウスにお戻りではないでしょうかおおはい。I forgot Maria was sitting standing there in the rose garden almost all day, all day all night looking for that l o t e rose, huh? Jesus. Rosa knew her daughter's nature well, so a chill ran down her spine. Maria was stubbornly honest, and if she was ordered to find something that didn't exist, she would look forever and ever. Even in the pouring rain. Even though she'd known about Maria's simple honesty better than anyone, she'd once again lost control of her emotions and done something terrible. Rosa pushed Genji away and ran down the hall. Well, if you wouldn't be so fucking emotional about over some fucking bullshit. Because even George and the s u c h was sitting, were just worried about Maria. It was like, hey, let's head down inside before it starts to rain horribly. Now, look what happened now. All alone in the fucking rain. All, all a bad situation. You could all could have just said something simple like, hey, we can look for the l o t e Rose next time. But no, looking at forever and ever on this shit. The outside really looked like a typhoon, and the rain was pouring down spectacularly. Maybe because of some aspect of the terrain, the winds weren't typhoon class. So, an umbrella wouldn't be torn out of one's hands. Even so, it certainly was a windy rain. There was no time to admire the roses being drenched. Oh my god. さすがにこの雨じゃと思いたいところだけどマリアちゃんはたまにすごく頑固でものすごく愚直な時があるマリアは We got a little worried. お屋敷ではお見かけしませんでしたのでてっきりこちらにおられるとばかりローザ様は仮眠を取られておいででしたので She wasn't taking a nap anymore. ここに来る途中に見かけなかったのかよ
申し訳ございません傘を差し急ぎ駆け抜けたものでそこまでの注意を払いませんでした If he had cut through the rose garden, taking the shortest line between the mansion and the guest house, then he would have just barely missed the place where Maria had been looking for a rose. And it was raining this hard, too. It certainly would have been possible for Kanonkin to fail to notice her. ああ。When George Anaki called back, Aunt Rosa jumped at him and grabbed onto him. Maria, where are you? Is George with us? What do you mean? No, we haven't met Maria after that time. Six years ago, Maria had been three years old. She was a cute and pure kid who just accept whatever anyone said. But six years have passed since then. She's nine now and experiencing the ups and downs of life should have taught me something. But Maria, are you telling me you're still as innocent and pure as you used to be? Maria! As I circled the rose bed, something white unexpectedly turned to face me. It was a white umbrella. Maria was crouching down, holding a white umbrella and still searching for that rose. That is shocking. Her face. Which had turned a bright red from her crying her eyes out, was dirtied with water and mud. It was a truly pitiful sight. I gotta say, you gotta be persistent as hell to look for a fucking multi rose in it, especially in this shitty ass weather. Maria had probably been here since the rain started pouring down. Her shoulders were freezing. She looked tired to the bone, but fortunately, since she was holding an umbrella, she wasn't completely soaked. The umbrella probably came from the handbag Maria always carried around. Thank goodness. Seriously, thank goodness. Batraka! Yogata! Misketandare! Aunt Rusa threw her umbrella aside and hugged Maria. Oh. 
Shukya. It looked like Maria still wasn't able to accept it, but she no longer had enough energy left to resist. Jessica and Kanan came caught up with us. ローザおばさん、とりあえずお屋敷に行きましょう。このままじゃマリアちゃん風邪をひいちゃう。そうね。マリア、行きましょう。ちゃんと綺麗にしないとおじいさまに怒られちゃうわよ。We couldn't stay in the rain forever. We took Maria with us as we headed back to the mansion. Maria apparently wasn't as worn out as I thought. When she remembered we were having calf steak for dinner, she started chanting, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, ooh, ooh, and returned to her usual spirit itself. Aunt Rosa didn't chide Maria for saying, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh, you borrowed it. Interesting. Some caring person must have brought her an umbrella. And all the kid would look for shelter once it started raining. But Maria was too stubborn to give up so easily. So maybe that caring person gave up on telling Maria to find shelter, then decided to at least give her an umbrella. <laughs> the name Maria cheerfully mentioned was that of the island's witch. Rosa took a deep breath and asked again, trying to do so in a way that wouldn't damage Maria's good head. So, I'm surprised Rosa kept it at a at a toned down level there. The, the, the name, the mention of the word Beatrice. Jesus Christ. Uh, what is hard to, t to tell from here? Whether to like, could have just handled the situation earlier or... Or fucking Maria just believing in Beatrice. Oh. Uh, それで誰なの？傘を持ってきてくれた人は。She she literally already said it though. Beatrice. Oh my lord. Maria immediately realized that her mother didn't believe her and started crying out unhappily again. So Rosa stopped pursuing the subject. It would probably be faster to ask whoever lent Maria the umbrella during dinner, rather than ask Maria herself. 
Yeah, let's just go with that plan. Otto-san! <sighs> Nah, I'm pretty sure Kinzo was like, will be like, well, fuck you. Along with a dull pounding on the door, the sound of Krauss's entreaty could be heard. However, that voice seemed to be resigned to the fact that nothing is said would be heard. Kinzo san. You know, judging from Kinzo was uh, chanting for Beatrice and using his grandchildren as sacrifices, I, 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 I highly doubt that he'll come. Damare nanju. Bishop no kikanka. He's too busy with his chest to care for dinner. He's like, yeah, I don't care about eating. I just want to play. I just want to play chess. Apparently, Kinza was completely focused on the final battle of his long-lasting chess match with Nanjo. Kinso's brow was wrinkled as he continued to glare at the game board through his spectacles. Krauss's voice didn't reach his ears. Kinzo-san. I'm going to わたしはもうしばらくこの一手を吟味させてもらうぞ。今夜で決着をつけてやる。さもなくばお前との決着は金輪際つけられそうにないからな。Nanjo rose from his seat, hoping this would prompt Kinzo to do the same, but Kinzo's eyes never left the chessboard. He knew well that Kinzo always displayed a blind concentration when it comes to chess. When it came to chess, that is. But he never seen Kinzo concentrate as hard as this. It was almost as though Kinzo was telling the truth, and there would be, never be another chance for them to continue their contest if they didn't finish tonight. It seemed that no matter how obstinately he called out to Kinzo, it wouldn't reach the latter's heart. Nanjo gave up and headed to the door that Kraus was still banging on. The door to the study opened. Kraus was taken aback, thinking that maybe Kinzo was actually coming out. However, Nanjo was the one who appeared, and Kraus let out a sigh of relief. Nanjo sensu. Well, at least Kinzo isn't being a lunatic for once. He's just busy with chess. Imaya Kinzo san no sekai wa kono hea dake desu. No shit. Nanjo shook his head with a completely defeated expression. Kraus raised his fist once more and banged on the door, shouting, His voice was very <laughs> His voice was very loud, and he was making a racket pounding on the door. There was no way it wouldn't reach Kinzo's ears. Well, it certainly was reaching him, but he ignored it anyway. However, unlike the time he'd been called down for lunch, he didn't fly into a rage. By now, Kinzo was calm at heart, almost though he had taken on a philosophical view. 
philosophical, <laughs> philosophical view and turned himself over to fate. ベアトリーチが蘇る時か私が鍵の生贄に選ばれた時だけだああシェットヘビーゴーゲンだもう悪魔のルーレットは回っている今さら晩餐に何の意味があろう How can you wait? How, makes no sense. How can you be hungry then? Oh, wait. May, maybe the alcohol behind him is preventing him from starving, I guess. As though the painfully loud banging on the door completely failed to enter his hearing, Kinzo silently thought about his next chess move, still in his philosophical state. Just as always, Kinzo's figure couldn't be seen anywhere in the dining hall. Kraus, wearing a bitter smile, returned with Nanjo. Oyajidonoa Eva and Rudolph sniggered. That's a bit of a hard word to say it. Given Kinzo's personality, there was no way he'd show signs of, reg of regret, and none of his relatives showed any regret at his absence. Yeah, I'm hungry as hell. Alright, let's go. Let's eat. When Golda was told to start the family conference dinner, his biggest time to shine of the whole year, he nodded with a broad grin. Oh boy. When Rosa timidly cut through the silence of the dining hall, everyone noticed. Kasa? Even Eva was like, what? その。さっきマリアがバラ庭園に行った時に雨が降り出して誰かに白い傘を借りたみたいなんだけど、俺が言いたくて。俺たちじゃねえぜローザが出てった後は部屋を映してずっと仲良くおしゃべりをしてたからね。Friendly <laughs> chat. <laughs> Fucking Rudolph was like, nah, it wasn't me. ははそうやで。あの後も兄弟で仲良くおしゃべりをしとったのや。I <laughs> don't know about friendly though. Since y'all were having a heated, since y'all were having some bit of an argument there, trying to like negotiate with the the splitting of the money, the word "friendly" fell awkwardly from Hideyoshi's lips. So even those who hadn't been present could tell the conversation hadn't been a pleasant one. あと秀吉さんと切江さんではないことも確かだがね私たちは夏日姉さんとローザさんが出て行った後もずっと一緒だったわ食事の時間までずっとね兄さんは源次さんと一緒にお父様を呼びに上の書斎へ私たちはそのまま食堂へ直行したもの。だから私たちではないわね。傘を貸すなんて親切、使用人の誰かじゃないの? What kind of miss, simple mystery is this? 
じゃあ郷田さん私はずっと厨房で準備をしておりましたもので申し訳ございませんゴーダー looked slightly disappointed about missing this chance to show off at that time Shannon and Kamasawa appeared pushing a serving cart loaded with whores of wars じゃあ Kamasawa さんか Shannon ちゃんかしら I hope I pronounced the, that last part right. Hi. No, 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 マリアちゃんがバラ庭園に一人でいた時に雨が降ってきてね誰かが傘を貸してくれたんだよローザおばさんがその人にお礼を言いたいって言うのさあベアトリーチェあーボイマリア Her mouth, a thin line, said the witch's name in a small voice. Aunt Rosa explained the situation one more time. As she, <laughs> as she did, Kumasawa san cackled. Ho <laughs> So, if it wasn't the servants, especially Canon, that in which he wasn't involved, and, and, and then all, all and the whole entire family didn't do it, then who did? It was like, oh, gee, I wonder who did. Hi. Kinga Kikanak, t e s i m s e n ヘアの準備とは何のことかねこの雨ですから客人の皆さんがゲストハウスにお帰りになられるのも大変かと思って使用人たちに屋敷内の客室の準備をするように命じたのです Well, she looks kind of stressed. Ara, Kiga Kikajana. So, ne, Kono Amenonaka, almost any way does know us, Edamono, ne. Mo, you sank. からそのようにご指示を受けまして私と熊沢さんとカノン君の3人で準備をしておりましたそしてご夕食の時間になり源氏様からゲストハウスのお子様方をお呼びするようご指示をいただいたためカノン君が言ってくれたのですええ ですからカノンさんがゲストハウスに行かれるときにマリアさんを見つけて傘をお渡ししたのではありませんかおーい違う違う The person who had actually received the umbrella denied it. Rosa was troubled. All she wanted to do was give a word of thanks to the person who had lent the umbrella, but she couldn't find him. And she thought asking like this with everyone gathered for dinner would work immediately. <laughs> you would think Natsuki, of all fucking people, would do such a thing. Like she was all holed up crying, being stressed out and shit. 
ごめんなさい私は皆さんとの仲良くの語らいの後頭痛がひどかったので自分の部屋で休んでいましたフレンリーチャーマイアスですから重たいは出ていませんなら誰なの No, Rosen's in trouble. ジョージ君たちなわけないわよねいえ僕たちじゃありません僕たちはずっとゲストハウスでテレビを見てましたむしろ私たちはマリアはおばさんと一緒に屋敷に行ったとばかり。No, she was staring at the Rose Garden the entire time. So, where can you get to? Maria was sure that I know Kato Kitande. I was going to ask you if I know Kato Kitande. I was going to ask you if I know Kato Kitande. I was going to ask you if I know Kato Kitande. I was Rosa was completely baffled. One by one, the relatives and the servants denied that they had done it, even though it really wasn't something anyone would need to hide. So, by process of elimination, the number of remaining candidates was enlarged. I'm not sure what I'm doing. 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 Obviously. ということはおじいさまでもないよねなんだなんだ妙な話になってきたぜあと残るのは誰だじゃあ誰源氏さんえあのちょっと待って勘違いしないでくれる別に私は何かの犯人探しをしてるんじゃないのよ雨の中のマリアに傘を差し伸べてくれた人に母としてお礼が言いたいだけなの<笑> I mean uh... Giving an umbrella to a girl loitering in the rain was something to be praised and not hidden. Despite that, no one raised their hand. Why not? Everyone started whispering about how strange this is getting. That's what everyone had been thinking since the beginning. They were all scratching their heads at why she didn't just ask Maria who had been given the umbrella. However, Rosa bit her lower lip. After all, she already knew how Maria would answer if asked. Doria! Rudolf could not you to Oria Naika. Maria chan, what is on your city now? マリアちゃんに傘を貸してくれたのは誰やあおなおちょっと。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、森の魔女ベアトリーチェが不憫に思って傘を貸してくれたか。Oh man, Krause, you're gonna get fucked. <laughs> Doesn't it say somewhere in the dialogue that if you don't believe in her, you're gonna get killed by her? <laughs> いい話じゃないかね。Oh shit. どうぞ、そういうことだ。<laughs> Mm. 
man. Rosa has no words. She was trying to like push that part aside and be like, I wonder, surely everyone here has to give it to her. But nope, it didn't work out. Everyone then didn't do it. Rosa couldn't believe it. Even though she just wanted to say thanks for the umbrella, why did everything have to be so clouded in smoke? <laughs> you know what? You know what, Kraus? Maybe, maybe you were right after all. それは良かった。無垢だというのは実に羨ましいことではないか。なあ、諸君。Man, <laughs> he's just laughing his ass off. Kraus was laughing with a face that was clearly mocking. But Maria was overjoyed, apparently convinced that her claim was being believed. Yes, the works of a miracle, the works of magic. Jessica asked me in a small voice that wouldn't carry over to Maria, who was sitting across from me. Maria, <laughs> I don't know. If we'd heard that kind of story pop out of my pop out of my old bastard's mouth, we would have just taken it as another joke. However, it was hard to explain in a way like that when Maria said it. This was getting pretty unnerving. Yeah. Oh man. Kraus think Kraus is believing it, but he's just mocking it. Oh man. Maria Kara Jordan Yidasan de Kita Gotomuna. Aunt Rosa probably knew that better than anyone. It appeared that because of this weird situation, she had no idea what was going on anymore. じゃあ、マリアがベアトリーチに傘を借りたと言ったなら、それは間違いなくベアトリーチなのか。マリアに関してだけは何かの比喩とか冗談とかそういうことは考えられねえぜ。革命通りの意味だと思うべきだろうよ
マリア様は一人でバラ庭園におられたそうでそこでどなたかに傘をお借りになったそうなのですがそれがどなたかわからないのです僕じゃないよマリア様はゲストハウスにいると思ってたくらいだからねバトラ様が最初に見つけられた時にはもう白い傘をお持ちだった申し訳ないがそれは私でもないじゃあまさか親方様でしょうか Both in the dining hall and right here, everyone has stated that they hadn't done it. Dad left only Kinzo, but maybe he went walking down the corridor for some reason. Nanika no goyo de Roka wa arukarete iru toki. Guzen barate en ni kasa mo sasanai, Maria sama ga mieta toka. Oyakata sama wa. マリア様のことをあまりお好きではない。なつプライゼン。同感だね。親方様がマリア様のためにじきじきに開花までお越しになって、傘をお持ちくださるとは考えられないよ。Yeah, well, he's always holed up in his study, so... yeah. あら、困りましたわね。では。マリア様に傘をお貸しになられたのは本当にベアトリーチェ様ってことに、um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's no laughing matter, but okay. Kumasawa laughed, just like the relatives in the dining hall who had laughed it off. She couldn't think of any other way to break through the smoke, veiling this current situation. Just then, the crisp sound of hands, clapping twice, ran through the hallway. They all turned around at once to see Golda coming out of the dining hall. So, so, e v e r y o n d i n n e r is very important for the time. Soon, the soup is very important for the time. 源氏さん、彼女らは大切なお仕事中ですのでお引き止めになられないでください。カナンズ says no words because he was like, wait, we're in the middle of something here. カナン glared at Golda for being rude to Genji, a person カナン respected. Genji, realizing this, patted Kanon once on the shoulder as a warning. Kanon reluctantly turned away and returned his expression to normal. Golda no Shiji ni Shitagai Nasai. Ima wa Bansan no Haizen o Isogu yo ni. Hora, hora, Jikan ga arimasen. Tara tara shinai. Isogimasu yo. Golda grabbed the serving cart from Shannon and steadily pushed it towards the kitchen. Then, I s pretty serious than tempered, so I can see why. <laughs> 私もこれで失礼いたします。クムサワとシャンンは、ただ、ジェンジとカナンが残っていました。ただ、ジェンジとカナンが残っていました。ただ、ジェンジとカナンが残っていました。ただ、ジェンジとカナンが残っていました。ただ、ジェンジとカナンが残っていました。ただ、ジェンジとカナンが残っていました。ただ、ジェンジとカナンが残っていました。親方様にお知らせしますかせずともよい
本当にお戻りになられたならやがておのずと親方様の前へ現れようそれにあれは気まぐれなお方親方様にご報告申し上げたところでお姿を現されないことには何の意味もない親方様の儀式はすでに始まっているということでしょうか Oh yeah, it definitely has already begun. おそらくだがそれは我ら家具には何の関わりもないこと親方様に受けたご恩を最後の瞬間までお返しするのみだはいそれが僕たち家具の務めです The thunder crashed once more, except for those instants when lightning lit up the sky. Nothing could be seen out of the window but the darkness of night. Just as humans rule when the sun is up, those that are not human rule when the sun is down. The darkness of night that now surrounded Mokujima was ruled by another master, not the Ushiromiya family. Did this master take pity on Maria when she was alone and being pummeled by the rain in the rose garden, lending her an umbrella? Kanon looked at the rose garden's lights, dimly visible beyond the window. The dim lights were enough to illuminate the surrounding area. Looking at those lights felt like making eye contact with the witch, and Kanon forced himself to avert his gaze. If he didn't, It felt like his eyes would be absorbed by that light. Fifty-two minutes in, and you know, we can just、uh, end it from here. All right. Next part.、Let's、see what happens next. Because.、Uh, It just gets better and better. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you then. Have a good one.